So Bioware went on an answering spree recently and answered a ton of your questions about Update 104. It's going to be the next big one. It's coming out next week. But get this, it looks like those vanity chests that we will be receiving at the end of Strongholds after you beat the boss, that they're going to be a limited time thing. More info on that, as well as what you can expect exactly from those chests. There's been some confusion around that. We're going to be talking about is it really worth still facing off against the boss himself and a ton of other stuff. I mean, there are so many answers to questions here. Let's do this. So all of these answers come from Bioware Chris, who sat in on the most recent live stream with Jesse. So let's do this. So first of all, hey, I'm new here. Says this for clarification, what will be available in the chest? And the answer is this. Biochris says this, vinyls, arrivals, victory poses, emotes, chimeric compounds, chimeric alloys, weapon parts, masterwork, embers, storm parts, ranger parts, interceptor parts, colossus parts, and materials. Lots of parts. So that's what you can expect from those vanity chests at the end of the, uh, the strongholds after you beat the boss. You're going to need that key, of course, which you will again be obtaining the uh, Elysian key from... You know, whatever daily challenge offers that up for us. So, yeah, just keep that in mind going forward. But there was another follow-up question here about this uh, as well. But you'll notice one thing about the chests, that they don't actually have armor in them. So you're not getting actual armor pieces or armor sets in these vanity chests. I thought for sure there was going to be armor uh, in these chests, but that's not going to be the case. Although we will be getting brand new armor that has also been confirmed uh, next week and they're working on it Chris also said that they are definitely working on new armor pieces even beyond what they've said uh, going forward so that's exciting and I think they just need to get really busy on offering more armor pieces for all the javelins uh, but anyway yes there was a follow-up question uh, from Griff who says this will the drop percentage chance be listed in the patch notes he's referring to what's being offered from those vanity chests and bio chris says this and the drop rate is they are all equal so there you have that answer now yes it seems like uh the chests are going to be very much a limited time thing in anthem so this was from zookeeper chris who says this so they may be limited time example in the game for two weeks then disappear with the possibility of returning someday in the future there was some confusion around this it was briefly mentioned in the stream Bio Chris confirms both at the end of the dungeon you can't stand there forever. There is a timer waiting for you to either open the chest or you get teleported to the end of expedition. And in the game for a limited time. So there's no reason to hoard, not spend your keys because they can only be used on these chests for a limited time. So looks like these chests are going to be there for a limited time. Imagine uh, what they're going to do with some of this stuff, especially with the vinyls. If you don't get all the vinyls within... Uh, that limited time i imagine that they're going to throw them onto the store you'll still be able to get them through challenges and then also uh, through the shards as well so i think that is what is going to be happening going forward with that one all right so let's talk about legendary bosses it's still going to be really really worth facing off against the legendary boss i mean with the least in chest of course i think so uh, but Goofer says this, it's kind of funny that they said boss can now drop legendary, but that's it. I'm still not going to do the boss if it's just the same rate as a chest. Three stages of boss for a drop. Well, of course you still want to do the boss in my opinion, but Biochris says this, it's a chance for legendary plus more rolls. And Goofer says this, rolls, you mean it has more bias rolls on items from boss drops. And the response was from Biochris, he says, I mean like one way you talk about quantity of loot from a thing's is number of rolls, like rolls of the dice. If you increase the number of rolls, you increase the number of chances at loot. And that goes for the same thing with everything in this game. That's why everyone is killing random, uh, you know, mobs in the game. You gotta kill absolutely... I've seen, like, uh, clips of someone uh, killing, you know, a random creature, like the Stickster, for example, and a legendary dropping from it. So it can be like that in this game. You're encouraged to always... Uh, you know, basically get after every single enemy in the game and not really skip anything because it increases your chances, just keeps upping the chances of you getting something. All right, so let's keep going right now. So uh, next up, uh, Soldier Hobbs says this. Oh, yeah, with the legendaries is the guaranteed masterwork drop for bosses staying and the three purples just turning into normal random drops. And the answer is this from Bio Chris. Yes, basically, so the floor has been lowered and the ceiling has been raised. So there you have that answer. 
All right, so let's keep going. And this was an interesting topic here. iGame says, hey, BioChris, has there been talk about initiating some mechanic that allows us to re-roll at least uh, one ex one ex inscription excuse me, on our gear, or is there a technical aspect that prevents that from being a possibility? And the response was this, that would be part of the loot progression scaling difficulty larger issue I keep referring to. In an RNG loot system, there's a lot of other smaller systems that uh, you, you use to fill in gaps in the system. One is crafting, one is re-rolling inscriptions, one is selectively replacing inscriptions, one is alternate currency to buy another roll, blood shards, one is using event currency to buy blueprints to craft. I can go on and on. We're working on the greater problem right now, and then those supporting systems will come if and when we need them, if that makes sense. So uh, there you have it. So overall, overall, they do feel like over at Bioware that things really do need to be reworked when it comes to, you know, the loot and the progression and scaling and so on and so forth, that they're investigating all of this. I think that's pretty much the gist from what I'm seeing from Bioware. So everything is, it seems like everything is being worked out on all at once. Armor, uh, you know, they're adding these Elysian keys and then they're looking at the scaling. I think that's going to be in the long term, of course, the scaling and, uh, you know, loot and stuff. All right, so skipping the bots, let's talk about that. Goofer says this, is it significantly more drops or my guess is that people will still skip the boss since the chest will have better rates too. But this time there will be people who want to do it and they will be left alone in the expedition if you can't join it anymore. But anyways, I'm super hyped for the upcoming patch. And the response were from BioChris, the idea is the boss should feel like it's dropping more stuff. And there are now chests after the boss you can open with the leasing keys. We'll see, but hopefully that's enough incentive to kill the boss. What do you guys think? Like if I know that I have a chance to get a really cool, uh, you know, vinyl then I'm going to definitely go after the boss. So I think that that's enough for me to go in there because I'm I'm really about customizing my javelin. Of course, I'm always messing with colors and stuff. And I think it's a huge part of the game. So if there's really cool vinyls, and the vinyls have to be really, really cool in these chests, by the way, and there have to be a good deal of them. There just can't be like five or something like that out of the 100 vanity items. That would be super disappointing. So... Uh, it's going to matter, you know, the quality of the vinyls and, uh, you know, how many of them are actually in the chest for us to really be excited uh, about what's on offer. But I'm sure, like, after the first day, uh, well, not after the first day, but I'm sure after, uh, you know, a while, people will be able to figure out uh, what's uh, inside these chests. All right, so let's talk about embers. Uh, so this is related to, I believe, the uh, bosses and what they will be offering. So this is what Biochris says. The ember pools are 30 each, so that's at least two masterworks worth of embers to craft with. Not bad. So that answer was kind of placed in there in the Discord, and the wording of the question was different. So I think that's related to what's going to be offered when you open up the vanity chest once you beat the boss. So it's definitely related to bosses from what I see on how many masterworks you, uh, embers you will be receiving. All right, so let's talk about reworking the actual store itself. Uh, so this was what Hi Young New here says, has there been any talk of reworking the store? And the answer is this, uh, yes. So that is the answer right there uh, about that one. And then also they did confirm that, uh, yes, more armor sets are being worked on and they are furiously working on that one going forward as well. And you know what, I think it's safe to say that a lot of us are in the end game of Anthem. And you're probably wondering, well, what's in it for me? So, Awesome Sauce says this, I'm 788 Masterworks are pointless. Um, and basically, Buyer Chris says this, Fair, you're at the top of the end of progression right now. More to come for people like you. So, they're definitely working on something, of course, related to end game content. And those of us that are really ranked up and leveled up and basically maxed out our javelin so i'm so curious to see what they're going to do if they're going to up the uh you know the, the max rank uh, we'll see but i'll keep you guys in the know all right so let's talk about masterwork updates we do know that they plan to actually update a lot of stuff in patch in the next update 104 and it looks like they plan to also update the uh, masterwork so Metroid does this, just an important question, the changes to masterwork items will be retroactive, please, I need to know. And the answer is this right here, BioCris says this, I believe so. So it's going to probably be the same story as last time, like if they do any updates to the masterwork, it looks like it's going to be 
for anything also in your inventory as well. By the way, a lot of you guys are still complaining about pilot data errors. I had, I did have a little bit more of those uh, lately, but BioChris confirms we believe we have tackled the vast majority of pilot data errors, so good news there. Now, what about the future of Anthem? You know, it seems like Bioware wants it to be a permanent franchise within their portfolio, much like Dragon Age is and Mass Effect is. Uh, but this was the uh, question by Mark, who says this, is the future of Anthem five years? And the response from BioChris is, hopefully that's the assumption we're going on. So uh, that's what they really want for, you know, I guess you would say Anthem 1. You know, they did already mention, like, Anthem 2 in a uh, previous interview that you know they're like well if there are a bunch of new systems that people really want in the game and we're feeling like we can't add all of them into uh this one then we would just end up doing an anthem too honestly i expect that to be happening i think that they would probably just add a new new regions to anthem one update the loot system as best as possible and then do uh anthem two in like two to three years or whatever so that's what i'm expecting uh, then do with this one go the destiny route uh for sure all right so let's talk about this one. Oh, this was interesting so uh bio chris was asked this any plans on making a new dragon age mmo rpg in the works and bio chris said this i've said for years personally that mass effect would make an amazing mmo and what do you guys think personally i hope that they keep going down the route of uh you know offering good single player rpg experiences that are very open-ended of course uh, like they have in the past, you know, so they, they I don't think it's a uh, very risky straying away from that too far uh, But you know, we still see great single-player offerings even now like people want it They definitely want it like cyberpunk 2077 is a great example So there's definitely room for Bioware in there to just keep doing what the, they've done in the past but also maybe it would be interesting to see a Mass Effect MMO, you know if they had another studio working on it but i think uh that they should just continue uh in terms of their multiplayer offerings to just keep doing anthem and then keep doing also what they're doing with uh, mass effect and dragon age but guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned here uh to up world games for more anthem and up world gaming goodness thank you guys again and i will see you next time take care